Hi. So I want to show you now a typical transformer. How does it look like? Yeah, so this transformer is 6 volts. So center tap transformer 606, but actually it's a 6 volt transformer. And uh, typically about 300 milliamps of current it gives. So close to 1.8 watts of power it can deliver. So what do you mean by 1.8 watts? It's not really sufficient to charge your mobile phone with the recent uh, ratings. If you look at mobile phone needs pretty high current to charge it faster. So basically this transformer, how does it look in the construction? You have a lot of cores. This is to, you know, you have a lot of small pieces inserted here as well as this side. And uh, primarily they have done it like this to, to avoid losses, core loss. If they use a solid piece, you have a lot of eddy current loss and so on. And the center one, what you see is called bobbin. And this bobbin, they wind wires, copper wire. And they put close to 13,000 turns for the primary and probably hundreds or 200 turns for the secondary yeah this gives the low voltage and this gives the this is where you have to give the high voltage but one important thing is for this transformer you have to give AC voltage so that you will get AC output in order to rectify this you need to have some components like this right this is called diode and this is called capacitor you need to put all these things here if you want to really use DC and charge this mobile phone. Yeah, all the setup you need to do. Not only that, in some cases you need to put some kind of regulator ICs like this. Yeah, to regulate the voltage constant. Otherwise what happens at your house, the voltage keeps varying and... So, this is the complete setup. If you want to make a charger or converting AC into DC. But this transformer is bulky and it's not very compact uh, and the power output is very low, it's quite big in size. So let me keep these items away and pick one of the $5 charger and let me see what's inside. Yeah. Look at here, this is also a transformer, this is called ferrite transformer, this is so compact, so compact and uh, this is also having primary and the secondary, for example this part of the circuit is primary area switching circuit and this part is secondary switching or secondary rectification circuit and I would say this is also a DC DC converter because this transformer is replaced by this transformer and the total output of this board is three times higher than this. This is 1.8 watt, this is 5 watts. So, I think close to 10 watts I get it. They are putting 2 amps, I, I expect at least 1.5 amps it can give. So basically what it is do, basically how does it work? You have a transformer for the transformer to work you need AC alternating current so this circuit takes your input from your house convert into DC then after that with this switching circuit it switches into AC because of it switches at high frequency you can reduce the transformer size this is switching at 50 Hertz there's nothing but at your house frequency at domestic frequency what we get it but here we are switching it in kilohertz so that makes the transformer size in very small and after that you rectify it again because you need DC again. So first rectification, then switching, then conversion, again rectification, you get the final output. It's as simple as that. So what's the advantage? It's very compact, less weight and uh, yeah, it's, it's efficient. I would say that this is also efficient but uh, this in size form factor it's quite efficient what's the drawback a lot of electronic circuit if something goes wrong boom and uh, you need to extreme care you have to take new you design your board and so on 
for a very good reliability on longevity.